Welcome to Tough Talk Christian Radio. Tough Talk Christian Radio is for those who want to share and receive expressions of faith that will help take you to the next step in your relationship with Christ. Tough Talk Christian Radio is brought to you by the Tough Talk Radio Network. Now here's your host, Tony Gambone. Well, good morning. Excuse me. I uh, hope everyone out there is having a great morning so far. I know here in Houston, the rain has stopped, at least uh, for the time being. Calling for some more this weekend. But I hope that the people are staying dry. I'm outside the city of Houston where we are dry and in a safe place. But I know that the rivers are rising and the creeks are rising. and Well, in Galveston, the water is coming up with the tide. So I hope everyone is safe and and hunker down in a, in a location that will be safe for them. We got a great show lined up here. We always have great shows lined up here on the Tough Talk Christian Radio Show here on the Tough Talk Radio Network. And today, um, before we bring our guest up, you know, I always go through a little bit of a monologue, and I, I want to talk about some things that are going on in my world, and 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 find out what's going on in your world, as always. So in the morning, you know, I spend my time reading. Um, and today I, I seem to come across some stuff that, well, I prayed for a couple of uh, weeks ago. I was just praying for more, um, more ability for for myself to listen, especially before I speak, to listen in a quiet time, to develop some type of quiet time. And uh, so today, when I read two different um, devotionals, one was titled "Listening First, and the other one was "The Wisdom of Silence." So it's funny, James one nineteen through 20 and uh, Psalms 62.5 uh, were the verses that were given in those two different devotionals. So uh, I, I really thought that there was a message there for me today. And as always, every day, I'm sure there's a message there. It just depends what day we're willing to listen for it or act upon it. So for you out there listening to the show you know, um, when you spend some quiet time uh, with the Lord, do you spend some quiet time with the Lord? But when you do, uh, morning, noon, or night, or all throughout the day or night, do you ever realize that the message is right in front of you? You just haven't been able to see it because your eyes aren't looking for what it is that you're supposed to see. I mean, a lot of times it's just, astonishing to me that the message is all over the place. I'm reading a book by Kerry Shook. He's a pastor here in the Houston area, and he's written a book, and one of the things that he says in the book is about spending five minutes quiet. Have you tried that? Well, I've been trying, and I thought about today setting an alarm on my phone so that I would know when it was up, so I don't have to think about it. Did you ever realize how much noise goes through your head in five minutes when you're trying to be quiet? And is there a pill I can take to make that happen? Holy cow. It was just incredible, the noise up there. And I've been trying it and trying it, not consistently, but um, when I see the book, when I'm reading the book, I try it. So I think there's a practice to it. Uh, Maybe I'm expecting to get more out of it than I think. But I think the process is if you could just get quiet long enough to um, know that you're making yourself available to hear. Now, you might hear voice. You might hear words. You might see images. I don't know how it comes to you. I know that I've never heard God's voice, but I've read his messages. I've seen his words, and I... And I've uh, done everything but hear his words from his voice. But I've experienced so many things, uh, I get excited. Sometimes overly excited, sometimes just excited. But did you ever realize in the morning when you get excited that by lunchtime you've forgotten that excitement, you're in the race of the day? How does that work for you? What do you do to slow yourself down? What do you do to recognize what's available for you in your life? And, you know, I I have a a couple of guests on here today. They're going to talk about some different things. But my first guest, uh, a gentleman by the name of Raymond Maskey, you know, he talks about uh, 
Live like live life like you stole it, not sto not sold it. Sold it, excuse me. <laughs> so what are you selling your life for? Is it for uh, that iPhone? Is it for the better job? Is it to be recognized in the community? Is money the importance of your uh, of your life? Is that what makes you feel recognized as someone? Is it your job title? Is it the volunteering that you do in the community? Is it the proud look you get on your face when you see your children do the right thing? Are you proud because they did the right thing or because you taught them to do the right thing? We could beat ourselves up all day long with questions, but when it comes down to it, what is the importance of your life? What are you trying to get out of it? What are you expecting to get out of it? You know, I had a friend, a dear, dear friend. He was a brother to me. And uh, he passed away about, I guess, eight years ago. But we spent a long time together in Las Vegas. And I'm not talking about six, eight months. I'm talking about ten years. And he used to say to me all the time that life's like just one big swimming pool of crap. And every day you get to swim through it. And there's little things that happen, those 30-second, 10-second things that happen in your life that allow you to say, put me in, coach, I'm ready to swim some more. And if you're looking for more than that in life, you're not going to find it because it's just not there. All you're going to do is end up wasting your time trying to find it. So when I found the Lord five years ago, I found the value of those 30-second things, those 10-second things that happen in my quiet time, in my reading, in the seconds that I recognize something, like this morning. You know, I've been praying that I would speak less, listen more. It's hard. I'm a speaker. I'm a radio host. I'm a network leader. And speaking is what I do to make a living. That doesn't mean that you can't listen more. You know, God gave us two, uh, two ears and one mouth so, for a reason. And I know most of you out there say that he gave us two lips, too. But someone once explained to me that was so it was easier to hold it shut. So think about it. Do you speak without thinking? Are you sorry for what you say after you said it? Or do you just let it roll off? Now, a lot of times, you know, people believe what they hear. So if they keep hearing the, the wrong things coming out of your mouth, it's, it's going to be hard to convince them that you're not that person. And actually, it's going to be hard to convince yourself that. So start listening uh, maybe 10 seconds longer before you speak. I always like to think that I'm like the autoresponder. You say something, I reply quickly. But I try to count to five or ten on a good day before I answer. I might have a better answer. I might not want to answer. How about you? When your children or your spouse say something to you, your boss or your clients, when they say something to you and you're busy and you and you give that response, do you stop and think 10 minutes later, geez, I wonder if they misunderstood what I was trying to say. And what you were doing at the time, was it really that important? I mean, let's face it, folks, unless you're like a, a brain surgeon and you're in the middle of surgery, is there really that anything that important in your life that couldn't wait 10 seconds? But I don't know. We live in a fast world. A lot of you out there might argue with me. But I do know for sure, for me, it's the challenge is to listen more, speak less. Listen more, speak better. Listen more, be more compassionate. And not have to feel bad about what I said. Because it gets tiring doing that. And then the next thing you know, you start buying into it yourself and you start living the wrong way. So I hope that you'll take some time out today to listen. Okay? Listen. Listen to something without having an opinion. Just listen. I know uh, the big news is Donald Trump's running for uh, president. Well, there's enough to keep you busy, right? But listen to that and laugh because it's a joke. But listen to some of the serious things in your life and think about it before you laugh or cry or speak or not speak. It's important to the people around you and to yourself. Because, you know, the old story says, if you can't make yourself happy, you're not going to make anybody else happy. And I believe that's true. And I believe it all starts with the choices you make every day. And I surely know that I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Whether I want to be here or not, this is where God placed me. It's up to me to make the right choices to go along with what God has planned for me. 
what you're planning today. Call us, 347-989-1363. That's our number here, 347-989-1363. Press 1 if you want to talk on the show, or just listen by your phone if you're not going to be by your computer. So we have two great guests. Raymond Maskey is our first guest, and Sheila Gale is our second guest. We've got some great stuff today. Fill up the coffee. Get a bottle of water. Get something to write on, okay? Move that donut off that napkin and get your pen out. You're going to be able to take some notes here today that are going to make things helpful for you if you're willing to take action. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to bring up our first guest. So stay, stay there. Don't leave. Lauren Dono is an elite, international certified, high-performance coach, author, and speaker with over 15 years' experience helping clients transform so that they are living bolder, happier, and more successful lives. Through a combination of her world-class coaching program and exclusive assessments, her mission is to get to the crux of your issues quickly and accurately, and then guide you to achieve sustained and higher levels of clarity, joy, energy, connection, influence, and overall performance in every area of your life. To learn more or to contact Lauren, go to laurenjano.com. Listen to The Legal Eagle and The Coach each Wednesday from noon to 1 p.m. on Tough Talk Radio Network. Leading local and national experts in business will share their keys to success so that our listening audience can be educated and entertained along the way to becoming all they can be. So whether you're new to business or highly experienced, The Legal Eagle and The Coach with hosts David Alterburn and Brian Kaiser is a great radio program for you. For more information, go to LegalEagleAndTheCoachRadio.com. Did you know that an estimated 52 million Americans listened to Internet radio in the last month? Or that weekly Internet radio audience has increased 60% over the last year? And that more than 8 in 10 people are online from any location? Tough Talk Radio Network is a company dedicated to providing a platform that allows opportunities for guests, hosts, and sponsors to market themselves to the internet radio media where they can be heard by millions. To find out how Tough Talk Radio Network can help you, go to toughtalkradionetwork.com. Okay, well, welcome back to Tough Talk Christian Radio. Hey, we're here every Thursday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, we're here in the Tough Talk Radio Network. You can find out more about all the shows by going to toughtalkradionetwork.com. Uh, my first guest today is a gentleman by the name of Raymond Maskey. And uh, Raymond reminds us that uh, we have been given a gift of life and that uh, we are to live it fully and completely. Um, amen to that. But uh, I, I bet you this here question that he has in his bio is going gonna, is gonna to make you turn around and listen, right? What did you sell your life for? And so what I want to do is uh, welcome Raymond to the show. Raymond, welcome. Yes, good morning, Tony. How are you? I am doing great. And Raymond, before we get to those, I love your stuff, okay? Why did you sell your life or what did you sell it for? I, I love that stuff. Before we get to it, though, I just want to let people know a little bit more about you. I believe that you're calling in from Canada. Is that correct? Yes, on the west coast of Canada in a small city called Kamloops. Now, is that where you're Not from originally? Our yeah, originally the West Coast, so if you know America, we're north of Seattle, near Vancouver in Canada, up near the Rocky Mountains. Beautiful country, beautiful, beautiful. So, Okay, so Raymond, uh, I want to make sure everybody knows your website, and it's uh, uh, livelifelikeyoustoleit.com, and uh, <laughs> I can't wait to find out about this. So I want you to just take me on a journey that allowed you to figure out um, live like live life like you stole it, not sold it. Yeah, Tony, I appreciate I, I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you this morning and your listeners. And I know that it is a difficult title to get your head around this, you know, because nobody wants to steal. And it, just the title, live life like you stole it, not sold it. There's things in us that that 
it works against us. And I know that it's difficult and I could hear us 